Hi there everybody, Mars here, the teaching professional at Southwark Park Golf Club. Sneaked out here on Saturday on a lovely little sunny afternoon after the comp. I uh, wanted to make a, this week's video about um, some small salvation I may have found off the tee. So I've seen people using them, had the trial club in quite a long, a long time but not had a go with it. And it basically is a driving iron. They come in various guises. This is a three. Um, it's got a nice graphite shaft in it, which is can be in steel or graphite. And like most of us, the key to getting around Southwark and a lot of these summer courses is some sort of straight tee shot. You know you're gonna get quite a bit of run with the hard ground, but the crucial part is can you get it in play? So I've been using this and, and I'm better. I'm not, I'm, I'm not hitting so many. You've only gotta be a tiny bit offline and you're in real trouble on these courses. Um, Southwark's rough is what it is everywhere. It's lush and thick still. Um, and the fairways are hard and bouncy. So if you're a little bit offline, you're going to end up in the rough. So a driving iron might be great for a lot of you. I have got a trial club, which you're all welcome to have a go with. Um, you basically just want something you can poke it down the fairway with a good distance, let it run out, and let's try and keep playing from the middle when the course will be you know, relatively easy then. So um, just technique wise, I'm going to use a little tiny low tee. It can be used off the fairway, but you're going to get a very low ball flight uh, for a lot of you, but a small tee, it looks easy to align, it's a little bit shorter, and it's still got plenty of power with this sort of semi-hollow head. So um, I'm gonna have a go down 13. This genuinely will be it. Um, look at the way the hole shapes up, I'm gonna try and fade it because that's gonna, gonna hold the fairway a little bit. I know that's not easy for everyone to do, but that really is the best way to keep it in play. So let's have a go. I'm not gonna lie, I have a good shot there. Let's have a little mooch down. I'm sure I can find something to talk about. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can play this beautiful hole. So yeah, that's the Cobra one. Um, Taylor may do a good one. Neil, the manager's got a P792 iron. I think that's what he's using off a lot of tees. That, that's something you can get. Um, and, and some of them are a bit, bit chunkier than the, the sort of more bladed version. So if you're a slightly higher handicap, go for one of the slightly fatter ones for want of a better word. So. Uh, yeah, what have I got to talk to you about? Well, it's been a great year, I think, so far. I mean, it's been difficult with this real heat um, for, for you players, but I mean, it's kept the golf course nice and busy. Um, I think the greens here are great. I've played, um, played some of the other day and uh, nowhere near as good as here, the greens. So fair play to Jim and the team for keeping them alive. This is Saturday. Hopefully Sunday we get a little bit of rain and that'll keep it going. Um, the boxing's going all right. Job number two. So if anyone fancies coming and watching some really good boxing, there's very rarely the Portsmouth gets professional boxing properly um, at the Mount Bounce Centre on the 8th of July. I think I've got six of ours fighting for five, five lads and a girl. I think we got on at the moment. If nothing doesn't fall through, the girl's making her debut, so that's interesting. And the top of the bill is our, one of our better fighters, a guy called Lucas Spallingall, who's going to defend his English title against a guy that's 14 and 0. So if any of you do fancy watching a bit of fisticuffs, it'll be good. Anyway, back to golf. And uh, so anyway, playing 13, if you're brave enough, you've got to sort of set half aim at the out of bounds and cut it. That's the only way you're probably going to hold the fairway and uh, give yourself a good route into the green. I might just for the hell of it see if I can use this driving iron twice and see if I can get a good score. Uh, yeah, so like all these things, you play a bit of a fade, you're going to lose a tiny bit of distance. But who needs distance at the moment? You need to keep it on the fairway and keep this thing in play. So yeah, I've dropped the driver out for a minute because I just, <sighs> terrible, my golf's so bad sometimes, or I don't play as much as I really want to. Um, but this is going to keep me going. So yeah, good little solid shot. Played a nice fade, it's obviously kicked in and ended up left a bit of the fairway up here. Oh, I'm just going to use it twice and see if I can get it on the green for the hell of it. Put myself to the sword. Tricky little shot into the entrance to this green, obviously. But you never know. Quite fast. If I get two the same, one as good as that one, I'll be fine. So what we were talking about before about sloping lies, obviously I am on a little um, slight ball above my feet. So the natural tendency is for the ball to draw a little bit. 
And my all, normal advice is to go with that, just aim a little bit to the right and let the slope do what it needs to do to your swing. It's going to flatten your swing path and you're going to go with that. Um, I'm going to try and be more clever than that and try and cut it because just so I can start it on that left hand bunker and see if I can cut it a little bit and then it'll run into the throat part of the green if I get it right. If I don't, the video ends here probably, but who knows. So a bit of a bald lie, but no complaints. Um, this thing's got, I don't know how much loft it's got on it. I think it does say, I think it's about 19 degrees of loft, which is enough. Okay. I think we'll end the video there. Honesty is what you get from me. That's, um, yeah, it's up just past the tree short of the bunker. So not my, not my best type of shot. Not really very impressed with that. I'm going to play it like I want to play it. I'm going to keep the video going. What I would have done. I would have got out the trusty seven wood. Yeah, that was a poor shot that. Terrible, really. When I look back at this video, I might have a quick peep at it and um, see what I really did wrong. Who knows? Smack this on the green, though. Maybe on the front edge, maybe just short. And I think probably there's, there's a little lesson there in, in uh, a little lesson there in golf for us all, really. So I don't play anywhere near as much as I could or want to. It, I want to play desperately and I can never find the time to play. Um, I'm all right with a little seven wood off the fairway. How good am I off with a three iron off the fairway? Poor is the honest truth. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's about it, really, isn't it? Should we go up there and have a look? I don't think we want to, do we? Just on the front edge of the green, I can see it from here. The other one, it's gonna be a tricky up and down. Should we keep going? Half tempted, half not. I'm boring you to death. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna stop it and start again. Well, look, I'm just gonna finish this hole off. I'm out here, it's, it's quite nice to be out. I have a bit of solitude and hit some balls. Um, yeah, so this first squirrely low cutty one that I hit, which was not very impressive at all, um, has ended up probably in a place where a lot of you have been so a tricky chip because I'm chipping down onto this relatively hard green I've got an all right lie so no real complaints there um, you've got to go with your most lofted club so in my case that's a 58 and um, it's all about hitting your landing area I've got very little space to land this ball it's probably the first meter of the green if I'm realistically going to have a chance for a birdie from here but you've got to try and fancy yourself a little bit it's not you know I'm not in a bad place so number one, assess the line. Now have a look at it. What's this lie like? It's fine. I can get to the back of the ball. So that means I can play this relatively how I want to. There's not, nothing that's going to stop me with grass growing behind the ball or any of that tricky stuff. Always have a few. What does that feel like? How hard's the ground? What does the grass feel like? Is it slow in my club much? How's it going to interact? So you want to do that. Take your time, get that right. And then I've got a tricky little um, ball above feet and come down the handle a tiny bit flex my knees a bit and take myself lower and I'm really trying to focus in on that little spot just on the front edge of the green six out of ten six out of ten well, these are valuable lessons for golf right because I'm on the green for three with a birdie putt, so why am I beating myself up? I've hit one good shot and two okay, well, one good shot, one bad shot, one okay shot. I've still got a birdie putt, so why am I beating myself up? I could have hit um, two shots onto the middle of the green and three putted, so I'm gonna have an eagle putt and a birdie putt, and I'll see you all next week, I think, after that. So yeah, three iron seven wood panned out nicely for me.
everyone says everything falls to the lake here that's what i'm always told but uh do you reckon that's got to be relatively straight isn't it if in doubt aim straight Or it comes a bit from the right. Bad. One birdie, one par, just shows you. Choose your favourite club from the fairway and don't try and be doing anything too fancy with a three iron. See you all next week. Anyone wants to try that, that um, Cobra driving iron, feel free. It's a demo club. You can take it out and give it a good smack. It could be a, the solution for a lot of you in the summer, uh, keeping that ball in play a bit longer. I'm going to use it for a couple more holes and uh, get myself home. See you all again. <laughs>